This is Manku from eprogrammer.com. I'm going to talk about a few possibility functions in MATLAB. The first one is binomial. Now, let's see an example. The keyword for binomial distribution is BINOCDF. And we set it to be 325.1. Now, I'm going to explain what are they. Now, let's assume we have a tail, head and tail cone, and then like, the possibility of having a head is 0.1. And this is the possibility that having three head or less in 25 trials. Now, that is equal to an other function, which is the sum of the PDF, okay? Sum of the bio, uh, binomial distribution PDF. Now, let's see this example. Now, you see those two are different functions, but after that, the final results are the same, 0.7636. Now, let's see another example. I said x is an array from 0 to 25. I want to make a pot, but I want to make a bar chart. Oops. If your research or engineering projects are falling behind, eeprogrammer.com can help you get them back on track without exploding your budget. Let us know what you need. You'll find relief here. Visit eeprogrammer.com. We can help you. Actually, what I want is to show the PDF of the distribution. Now, what is going to happen if um, x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, with a condition of the biomedical distribution, 25 trial of 10% of the time is head, 90% of the time is tail. Now I want to I want to see the possibility of x equal to zero to twenty five. So let's do the bar chart. Ups. Oh, I forgot a comma. Now you can see the distribution. Now when x is equal to zero, you can see it's roughly around seven percent. When x is equal to one, you can see roughly around twenty percent. Now what if the percent of happen in self 10% is 70%? Now you can see the whole curve shift to the right and the maximum is at around 18. The second function I want to talk about is the person. Now, we can use the help function to tell this person CDF, P-O-I-S-S CDF. Now, let's see an example. 
if I want to see something that it has happened more than two times in the Poisson distribution, what I need to check is the one minus the Poisson CDF from zero to one. Now, again, happen more than or equal to two times. So that means it is not zero times, it is not one times, it is two times. Now the one in the Poisson CDF is represent is happen more than or happen uh, more than or equal to one times. The point two five is uh, represent the possibility of happen is the lambda value. Instead a Poisson CDF, there is also an other Poisson possibility density function is called Poisson PDF. Okay, so you can see the health file to check that. Next one is uniform distribution. Now first, I set an array. X is equal to, let's say, um, minus 0.5 with each step is 0.1 to 10.5. Now I'm I'm going to find the PDF. Use the keyword UNIF PDF, which is represent the uniform distribution of the PDF. X is represent the value, is the array, and zero to ten is the uniform distribution range. Now I'm going to make the PDF, I'm going to make the pot. You can see the distribution is uh, from 0 to 10 and the value is equal to 0.1. That is uniform distribution. Now we can also check the other thing we can check the CDF make the port now you know you, you can see this is a straight line a 45 degree straight line is because it is accumulating the possibility number. So the last one I'm going to talk about is the normal distribution. We can always use the health function. Now the the function I want to talk about is this N-O-R-M-S-P-E-C. It is trying to port the distribution and tell us the possibility that have happened within a range. Now, I set two values. We need to set the mu and the sigma. That is the how the distribution look. And then we, we need to set the range of which region we are going to focus because we want to find the possibility it happened within that range.
Now, we use the function norm spec norm spec. Now you can see the port. In the title, it has already say there is a point three eight. Is the possibility? It happened between three and five with mu is equal to four, sigma is equal to two. 